My name is Michael Shilo, and um, I always have trouble pinpointing a specific moment. Uh, for me, the, the general concept is meeting all these amazing people. And it isn't until much later that all the ideas start to, I remember them, and, and I remember, oh yeah, that was brilliant, that was brilliant, that yeah. was brilliant. For sure. So it's the people. So my name is Carlin Ma, and I found the Heidelberg Project visit uh, very moving because it was a reminder that just small gestures from an individual can build into a really positive movement. And I think as technologists, we need to remember that our little projects have uh, consequences. Hi, I'm Noah Fian. Uh, one of the things I consistently come away from this conference with is everyone else's enthusiasm. Uh, I work alone most of the time, and getting to watch other practitioners share their failures as much as their successes and share the behind the scenes uh, struggles and uh, revelations they had is really the thing I take year to year. That's what keeps me going in between. I'm Jonah Burke Cohen, and this is the first time I've been to sketching, and I've had a really great time. I think the best part about it so far has just been meeting people, seeing what they're working on, um, thinking about future collaborations, and uh, just getting basically excited about getting back into the world of uh, hacking tech. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my name is Wendy Ju. Uh, for me, the most meaningful moment was during Zach Frieden's talk when he was showing his Franken, uh, you know, LED board. It's like really, it was kind of like turned on and also like repulsed <laughs> by this board. It was like, such a mess. Um, and, and I was like, I felt admiration. Like if I had a zombie comp apocalypse, that's what I would do. And I hope none of my students ever see that. And it just, I had a lot of feelings about it. And I noticed like on the Slack channel that no one else was writing anything either. And I think everyone else probably felt the same, like yeah. complexity of emotions. And so for me, that was the most meaningful moment. Hi, I'm David Lowe uh, from Calgary. And uh, this is my first sketching in hard work. And if I had to say what the most meaningful thing was, it's not necessarily a moment but it was realizing the openness that people have to recognize that they make mistakes and that they don't necessarily know what they're doing until it's done. And I think that was kind of refreshing as an academics. All right, uh, my name is Jan Borches uh, from RWTH Aachen University in Germany. Um, my probably most, um, the moment that impressed me most, I should say, was when I heard about uh, WaveNet, the, uh, neural network, the, the deep learning network that mm -hmm. can actually beat um, human, beat any existing text-to-speech system by quite a margin. Uh, that was really cool. Hi, <laughs> my name is Nathan. Uh, the, well, okay, so the most meaningful moment I had was talking to folks about sort of uh, the progression of sketching and hardware over the yeah. years and just sort of comparing um, how much we've changed and advanced and uh, became friends and um, we've just sort of been this uh, loose cadre of, uh, what are they called, island of misfits. So um, yeah, m the most meaningful thing to me about sketching and hardware is just getting together with friends and meeting new ones. So hi, I'm Noam and this is my first sketching and I think one of the most, the moments that stuck out to me was um, I was very, like it was the third day third day in and I was feeling kind of tired and oversaturated and I think Kip went on stage and he was casually talking about like global weather control as a side project and my brain was like yeah whatever and then I, was, I stopped myself and I was like this has been I can't let my oversaturation like stop me from acknowledging how much everybody here has been talking about crazy insane amazing mind-blowing projects all the time and like the fact that I was saturated enough to let it, like to ignore it was ridiculous because, just because everybody here is such a crazy fucking genius and I just can't deal with all of the mind-blowing things I've heard and the people I talked to in the past few days. It was pretty awesome how there was child care at this event and that blew my mind in a way that uh, was different than all the other really great things that happened at the conference and I'm a conference organizer and hope to have that at that I work on. Lunch or dinner, John came over to me because I, I had put something in the in the Slack stream saying, I want to hear more about his program. And uh, he came over to me at lunch and said, I wanted to answer your question about the program. And we sat and talked for about you know half an hour where he really kind of described what was going on. He mentioned that his program that he taught at was one where 
they were trying to solve a lot of social justice issues or things like that, and they would bring students in and work on that, and really kind of describe what was going on with the program and the way it worked. And it was nice because there were a lot of ideals to what he was describing that I felt that my own program shares, and there were a lot of methods that he was describing that we don't share, and I found myself sort of going, ooh, we can borrow that, ooh, let me try that, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and for me, that's always been one of the better things about sketching, is that Mike leaves plenty of room for those kinds of conversations to happen. So I'd say that's probably one of the better moments for me about sketching. Hi, I'm um, Zach Ferdine, and I'm taking away um, a fantastic reading list and a, um, a, a, a love of curiosity. And um, one excellent quote, which uh, was, Sorry, man, I don't mean to harsh your sabbatical. Uh, I'm Andrew Duff, and uh, my favorite talk at Sketching Hardware was Bjorn Hartman's talk about how people can now debug their breadboard rigs. Hi, my name is Nick Marlero. Uh, my probably most meaningful moment at Sketching has been uh, during lunch, I had a really nice conversation with Pamela outside. We just talked about a bunch of things, stuff she was working on um, specifically. I've been really interested in thinking about how to get more diversity, especially as I move on in my career, and we talked a lot about that, and that was really, really a great experience. I'm Chung. I'm really happy that I got access to all these great leaders in the maker community. Uh, my name is David Tinhoff, uh, and my most meaningful moment was, well, all the time we spent in the Masonic Temple, yeah. because it's... There's a connection there to some really old ideas. Not the Masonic ideas, but the old Detroit ideas. Yeah. And I, yeah, I, that was a real life. Very cool. So, I'm Joe, and for me, the last sketch in the 2011, and for me, the most incredible point of this year is the combination of the place and the contents. Yeah, perfect. Hi, I'm Joshua Walton. Um, the most meaningful thing for me at this conference has been uh, seeing how people have um, changed in their careers over time. So I've been to this multiple times, and for me it's actually the way people carve a life out for themselves here within this kind of discipline. Yeah. Um, and so there's a lot of people this time who are like between things or contemplating what's next, and uh, that's a really important thing and it meant a lot to me because I have those feelings sometimes as well. I haven't even thought about it. So uh, well, I know my name though. Good. I am David Guardiellas. And uh, my most meaningful moment. Yeah, I mean, um, when I realized I had been to like over 40 talks, not falling asleep. And it was really hard to decide which one was the best one. Uh, hey, I'm Josh Bloom uh, here at Sketching and Hardware 2017. Um, I think the best moment for me so far uh, is really a collection of moments and just meeting this incredibly varied crew, uh, academics and biohackers and just amazing people, hearing what they're doing and stealing some ideas and then using them for myself. So I'm Catherine Moringwaki. I'm an assistant professor of media design at Parsons School of Design in New York City. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's really the most meaningful moment, but I have to say the, um, the tour of the Masonic Temple was extremely interesting to me. I, I wish that we were allowed to run free and roam amongst those thousands of, or 1,000 rooms within, within the temple, but I did appreciate being able to see what was shown to us by the docents. I'm Justin Baxi. I've been going to sketching and hardware for most of the years it's been running over the last 10 years, and it is really meaningful to see people come in and say, oh, I just finished my PhD, and you saw them when they were thinking about applying to schools for a PhD, or here's my product that you can go buy on this URL, and then we saw their laser cut prototypes five years ago. Um, so seeing how people progress their businesses, their education, um, how they change their approach to teaching over time, um, and sometimes influenced by sketching or just influenced by each other, I think is the most important thing for me at this conference. My name is Lenore, and my favorite moment in sketching is the conversations that happen in between times when we get to spend time with each other. Uh, 
crystallizing all of the crazy stuff that happens. Yeah. Did you have any particular like exchange between people that you were like this? <laughs> so I was sitting in a talk and suddenly my name was referenced and, and that's the moment. Uh, we were talking about programming languages and this idea of, of putting magnets down that you can take pictures of and I'm like, oh, well, that's like fridge poetry. <laughs> it was just a great moment to then later hear that reference in the talk. This has been named by Lenore Fridge, uh, what is it? Uh, fridge magnet programming. <laughs> perfect, perfect. So you've defined a whole new thing. I have, apparently. Nice. Well done, well done. Thank Mike Kunyavsky, and what I'm taking away from the, uh, sketching this here is that uh, uh, systems of uh, technologies are really interconnected, and there is a, and designing them from the beginning in order to have impact on the world is uh, very difficult but doable, and that people can, uh, if not uh, have complete control, they can at least have some control. They shouldn't be afraid of uh, attempting to create systems that impact the world in a positive way.